exciting. Danny Schaefer, he's an idiot. Honey! Honey, guess who's back home to entertain, inform, and we give you a little F you and fun. Yes, the D and the S. No P. P is still peeing in South Carolina till Monday. Hello, Donnie. It's Thursday. That means we're on Facebook Live. Yes, brought to you by Castillo Funeral Home. So if you want to get a get a gander at me and Susie in the studio and hear the potty words we use during the records and the commercials. You go to our WRQN Facebook page. Make sure you share it while you watch it, please, so we can take over the world. That's the plan. Take over the world. And you can help us. Jeffrey, he's the only one in. Hey, Jeffrey, good morning, dude. There's Tina. There's Richard. Thank you, people. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit the share button while you're watching. We'll just find out how much you love us, man. How much do you love us by sharing? And I'm, my apologies. You guys usually watch a threesome. Today, it's only a twosome. <laughs> Forecast today. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, and we're larger than life. Yes, we are larger than life. A mix of uh, sun and clouds today with a high of 83, partly cloudy, mild 59 tonight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, almost 80, 79. We're at 58 right now. And hello and good morning to you, Susie. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I look like a giant head on Facebook Live today. So get used to it. All right, I don't know if you heard about the 53-year-old grandmother, Carrie Burnett. She went viral for using pole dancing to get into the best shape of her life. Check out this ad. If you're a grandmother who keeps getting injured pole dancing, you need to make sure help arrives right away. That's why there's Life Alert Pole Dancing Edition. Life Alert Pole Dancing Edition. What seems to be the problem? Help, I've fallen while pole dancing and I can't get up. Okay, well, Seth. Send... I was twerking and shaking this booty of mine on the pole and I fell. Yes, I understand. Well, Seth. Send... You see, it's Seymour's birthday and I gave him a nice lap dance and then I got on the pole, writhing around, jiggling my... Please, I don't need all of the details. I, uh, honestly. Life Alert Pole Dancing Edition. Get help every time you injure yourself pole dancing today. There you go. The comedy seal has been broken. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. All right. Oh, John Castile's watching this morning. Johnny Bypass. Thank you, Johnny, for sponsoring. Have a lovely day. We're trying to play golf, and, and uh, our schedules just aren't lining up. Kind of caps my butt. But we'll get it in, Johnny. We got plenty of, uh, you know, fall golf. I love fall golf. You like fall golf, Susie? Yeah, and it's cooler by the lake, I hear. It is cooler by the lake. All right, Susie, I got to uh, start out the story uh, show, the 530 Club now, with a with a kind of a serious story. You know, we like to yuck it up on this show, kind of like yesterday. How's your rest of your day it's go serious? yesterday? Serious? Uh, um, well, layoffs. Layoffs. Oh, not with the holidays. Probably. How was the rest of your day yesterday? I don't know about you, but I was exhausted because we had to do extra load because Paul wasn't here. No, I bet you were exhausted because you're doing all the extra loads. No, you're helping. No, not really, dude. You... What did I just say? I said you're helping, damn it. Okay. Are we fighting? I'm helping 20% and you're doing 80%. Anyway, uh, no, I had a good day, though. I played golf with Steve, that guy, Kiker, and my son, Josh. Who is in no hurry to get a job? And uh, Jimmy Shock. I played great golf shot 73 at Crooked Creek. Oh, Bam. awesome. Nice. And I won all the money. <gasps> yeah. Good Bonus. day. Good day. But no nap. Last night I went to bed at uh, about eight o'clock and my alarm is set for like 3 02 because Paul's, you know, I had to get in here five extra minutes earlier because sure, he's sure. out. So um, instead of my 3 07, I get up at 3 02. Thank you. And at 1 a.m., I'm wide freaking awake. After five hours, I'm laying there going, really? Not sleep? And then I fall back asleep, and I have a dream. I was working at a radio station somewhere. I, it might have been back down in Atlanta, but it wasn't the Atlanta parking lot. I'm pretty sure it was Atlanta. Anyway, and I went out to, after my shift, I went to go uh, get my van. My van was gone. It was stolen. Oh what? Yeah. With my golf clubs in the back. One of the saddest dreams I've ever had in my life. My sweet key is gone. But more importantly, my golf clubs were gone. On the uh, on the good side of that, 
I would have to get, get brand new clubs. I was going to say, do you need new clubs? Maybe and that's kind of fun. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, reach out to my friends, Diane at uh, Night Insurance, and ask her, uh, hey, uh, my golf clubs are covered, right? After my deductible. Anyway. <laughs> I did. I woke up. And I, I didn't like that dream at all. I woke up and I just, I'm like, oh, okay. It was a dream. Hope it's not a premonition. Everything is okay. You just jinxed me. No, no. Cause I said that out loud. So it'll be okay. It kind of right. cancels the jinx. All right. So this sucks right here. I don't like to start out with a, this sucks story, but it does. And this is only the beginning. If they don't pull their heads out of their butts, come to the table and figure this out between the UAW and the big three. 875 Dana workers, 875 families are now being affected even more. They're, they've been temporarily laid off as a result of the UAW strike. Sunday night, we got a text says, uh, you don't have to come to work Monday. A Dana Napoleon worker who wishes to remain unanimous, anonymous. Then Monday night, we got one attack saying that we weren't supposed to report for the following week. Oof. She says she's signing up for unemployment, and it'll only make half of what she normally takes home. Dana Napoleon supplies mm -hmm. parts of the striking four plant in Wayne, Michigan, uh, by Detroit, and Dana Toledo produces for Stellanus, which is the striking Toledo plant. A Dana rep says, yeah, we have no idea how long the layoffs are going to last. I do. When the strike's over, then you got to start making the freaking parts because they're making vehicles mm -hmm. again. That's when it'll be over. Look, they got to come together, Susie. They just do. They got to drop this 32 hours and get paid for 40. Stop that crap. And I, ho I hope that, that's, that they're going to do that. But damn it, the big three, they are making bank. They're making so much money. Stop being so damn greedy. Screw the, you know what? No, no, I, I want this to be over. And and I know it's like, well, you know, uh, stockholders, you know, they want to be, uh, screw that. Christmas is on the way. I want everybody working, Susie. This is the worst time of the year for this to happen. You know? No, I know. Are, are they going to have enough cars? You know, those those cheesy commercials? And I don't know anybody who's ever done this, but I know people have done it because they have the commercials every year. You know how every Christmas, this year, get her the Mercedes she always wanted. <laughs> Christmas morning when she looks yeah. out in the driveway and you got that giant ass red bow on it. Oh, gosh. I, you, I dream you know, you know have anybody a car with a big red bow. Yeah. I tell the tot all the time, dude, that's a bucket list experience. You get a car with the bow on it. Do you know anybody who's ever gotten a car or a truck or a Jeep or whatever? And it was on Christmas morning. They had no idea. They were able to pull it off and surprise their loved one. And they had the giant ass red bow. Do you know anybody who's done? I that? do know somebody with the giant red bow. Um, and it, but it it was just a car for their for their kid. But yes, they did it Christmas morning because we kept the car in our garage, and they came over, got it, and then drove it over uh, to their driveway. That's pretty but awesome. But it wasn't a high-end, high-end, fancy-schmancy, you know, Mercedes. Yeah, I want to talk about a, you know, a high-end, you know, fancy-schmancy one. Somebody who's done that. Anyway, uh, so pints and prayers. We're calling for pints and prayers to get this stinking strike over because the longer it goes, the worse it's going to be. It's going to affect all the economy. People aren't going to go out to eat. Restaurants are going to be down. People are just going to be cranky. They're going to be flipping you off more than normal. It's just, it's not going to be fun. It's just not going to be fun. So damn it. Stop being so greedy, big three and UAW, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make a move or two and let's see if we can't get this thing settled. There you go. And mm -hmm. I'm available. I'm oh. available to talk sense in people. I'm very good at that. I'm not very good at taking my own advice, but I'm great at telling other people what to do. Mm -hmm. Paul would be down and out and homeless and living in a van down by the river if it wasn't for me and my wonderful advice that he takes religiously. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your nuggets keep them going. I know. Sure. I know. Well, how do you think Sharon walked around with such a <laughs> smile? You get those nuggets all the time. All right, Susie, we're all looking for hacks, right? Hacks to make life easier. Would you say, would you agree with that? Yes. Me yes. too. I want hack. I want hacks. Like, I don't know about this one. Um, this hack that's gone viral 
It also, it helps you, and it also keeps vampires from sneaking into your bathroom, like Rudy Giuliani. I think he's a vampire. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, there's a hack that went viral. You should be putting a clove of garlic in your toilet at night. Hmm. This was for cleaning, but it's really for smelly purposes. Yes. You peel one clove, drop it in the bowl, let it soak. You're supposed to do it twice a week. Not everybody loves the scent of garlic. Mm -mm. I love the scent of garlic, and I love the taste of garlic. My pizza, I always get the garlic topper. Really? Oh, so good. It's supposed to help with lingering bathroom smells. Do you have lingering bathroom smells? No, our bathrooms are pretty fresh. Are they? Yeah. Not everyone loves the scent, though. You can also supposedly crush up a few cloves, make garlic tea, and then you dump that in the toilet, and that's supposed to help with the yellow stains. Huh. Oh, the tea. Okay. Okay. Some people think Mm. it's a waste of garlic. Maybe you just need to clean your toilet more often, Skippy. As you sleep, the garlic releases its natural aroma, Mm. which comes from something called a listen, A-L-L-I-C-I-N, allison, whatever. Whatever. It's known for its antibacterial and antifungal properties. These compounds work to neutralize odors, leave your bathroom smelling much fresher by the morning. Not only does the garlic mask unpleasant smells, but it also contributes to more pleasant a more pleasant bathroom environment overall. It can be particularly helpful if you have guests over. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you want a fresh smelling bathroom for your guests. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to try that. We just throw the little blue thing in there. Right, yes, you we know? do that too, yes. Of course, yes. that's probably toxic and it's killing not us. Not good for the... How about this? Today, if the, uh, what's the dumbest thing you ever did when you were drunk? Um, if that doesn't work, here's our backup. What's a hack that doesn't exist, but you wish it did? Oh, oh. name a hack that doesn't exist, but you wish it did. Pick me, pick me. Go ahead, Susie. You're on. Uh, I need a hack for a four day work week. That would be wonderful. That to figure mm-hmm. that out of in the uh, radio world. Hack for four day. Yeah, we might be able to work that out. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get to that though, because we're in the fourth quarter, girl. I think it's two minute warning, quite honestly. You heard the two minute warning? Yeah, I oh, think so. Okay. At least for me. All right. Maybe that's I'm cool. gonna leave and you and Paul are gonna carry on. It'll oh the, no, no, the no. The P and S show. No, no, no. No, I do like P&S. Paul, but um No. I could be done for a little bit. What do you call when you take time off of work? Uh, you take a sabbatical. Oh yeah, sabbatical. Or, you, may, or maybe they just let you broadcast from home. Do you do anything fancy on your sabbatical or you can just lay around? You find yourself. Okay. Okay, I'm right. about due for a sabbatical, I you, feel like. Do you need to find yourself? Yeah. Yeah? I need to find myself at the mall in Florida. <laughs> yes. Buying a new car with a big badass yeah. bow on it? Yes. All right, here's one. How about a hack that I can use when Sharon says, hey, you got a minute? We need to talk. I need a hack to oh, get out of that. Yeah. Is there a way? Good uh, and a taxes hack. I just hate the whole taxes thing. It kill- I mean, I know the turbo tax and all of that. But to pay somebody to do it, holy crap, is oh, that expensive. Well, back oh. in the day when I made good money, now it's paycheck to paycheck, man. It sucks. Anyway. But, hey, I'm thankful for my job. I'm sure. thankful you sure. came to work today, Susie. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. We could be worse. We could be getting ready. They start at 6 o'clock out on the picket line. I mean, it's 58 degrees right now, but that can't be fun. Waking up, going out there, all cheery with your signs. And what about the splinters? Those are wood signs. Somebody, somebody's getting splinters. Mm-hmm. It's horrible. Anyway, and strike pay. Come on, who can live a strike pay? Doesn't even cover my cigar bill, let alone my beer bill. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. so I'm thankful sure. that you know at least we, uh, you know, have jobs for now. All right. By now, you've heard about the F-35 stealth fighter jet. We talked about it yesterday. That the Marines lost, and then they found it. It showed up in South Carolina. Uh, well, that's where it was. Uh, Now it's time to hear from an eyewitness. I posted this on Twitter. His name is Randolph White, who heard the jet as it went down. Okay? Okay. So I tweeted this, and here he is. He's a South Carolinian, and it's a typical-looking South Carolinian, and here's what he had to say. He was an eyewitness. I was in the uh, the bathroom taking a shave, and I heard a, a screeching between a screech and a whistle. 
No. What in the world is this? And I heard a boom. In my whole house, show. Did a meteorite come out of space or something? <laughs> the airplane, it needed to be reported. Look, the thing was flying just too low. Choppers keep flying around. I said, well, somebody, like, somebody must have robbed the bank or whatever. Got through the grace of God, nobody didn't get hurt. Yeah. Anything man made can malfunction. Yeah. But it needs to be investigated, and the public needs to know what really happened. Yeah. It could have been a major disaster. I got news for you. We'll never know what really happened. The pilot ejected. And I believe he's okay. At least I pray he is. Pints of prayers for him and his family. Uh, but the military is like, yeah, we uh, we can't tell you because it's, uh, you know, top secret. It would compromise our defense. No, no. We mm. screwed up. Something happened. And thank God our pilot's okay. But our billion-dollar plane, I, I mean, it's got to be a billion dollars, right? Oh, for one of those yes. planes? Yeah. Our billion-dollar plane. It was flying upside down. A couple celebrating their son's uh, seventh birthday. It flew right over them. It was about 100 feet, they're guessing, above the trees. And it was upside down. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but this guy's going to be a star. Between a screech and a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you want to check it out, go to our WRQN Twitter page and don't forget to uh, subscribe to it or follow us before Elon Musk starts charging people for Twitter, which will be the end of Twitter. Just saying. All right, Susan, how old were you in 1983? 13? Yes. Okay. Good job with the math. Was it? Well, you're 1970. So, and I'm sober at the moment, so I can think. Ah. what was that about the time the cabbage patch thing? Oh nuts? my gosh! Was yes. it eighty three? So, uh, okay, seventy six. Um, for me, it started in the eighties. All right. So in the eighties, um, yes. Oh man, Do I you? was crazy for the cabbage patch kids. Like we knew, like we would go to Montgomery Wards. Like we know, oh, we call them. Yeah, we got a shipment in. We're gonna um put them on the floor. You know, tomorrow morning when we open. So we would go to Montgomery Wards over at Southwick. Wait outside the doors to the toy department, race in, and we would just grab a box. It, you were mobbed too. W- weren't there a ton of oh, people? Oh, yeah, it was crazy, but it was fun though. But it was crazy. So we'd grab a box and you just hope it was one that you liked. And if not, maybe you traded with somebody else who grabbed a box. Right. It was, yeah, it was something. Well, guess what they're doing? They're coming out with a documentary. <gasps> wow. Yep, they're doing a doc on it. And you don't still have a cabbage patch doll? Do yes, I have. You like, do? I have three of them, like laying around in their boxes. See, I don't. I didn't save the box. That's where yeah. I went wrong because. Well, are they? Cha-ching! Are, really? The box. Are they worth something on on the internet? So I don't know if mine are. I think the original, original, original dolls are the ones that they made before the craze hit. Like well, there's look, different styles. So the craze of uh, cabbage patch dolls lasted a long time okay it, yeah. it it preceded the whole black friday madness it was like black friday every day when a new store would get a shipment yes. in, and people were vicious and brutal because they're idiots okay they just are there's a new documentary yeah. coming up in theaters it's coming to theaters i'm sure it's going to stream at some point i'm not seeing it at a theater it uncovers the dark side of the beloved children's toy okay I didn't get the Cabbage Patch doll. I thought they were ugly. What uh, What was the appeal? No, I, th- did, I did think they, they had, were cute. They didn't have hair, did they? Didn't they have Some like, had hair. Like fat faces? Some of the little preemies were bald, and the preemies came with little pacifiers, and then you could, like, change their clothes. They all came with clothes. Yeah, oh, that yeah. sounds like pretty much every yeah. doll. Mm-hmm. Every doll's like that. Nah, but this was... Check out know. part of the trailer, and yes, I tweeted the... Tr- the tra- tra- I tweeted the trailer. I tweeted the uh, tra- uh, trailer for you on our uh, uh, Twitter page. So, yeah, I'm working overtime today, Susan. I know. Something 80%. In 1983. And we were never going back. The intensity of this search for these dolls. A full-grown woman taking a doll out of a child's hand? They trampled everybody. What do we tell our little girl Christmas morning? You've been good, but Santa ran short. This is a story ah. about the worst parts of capitalism. This nice lady created these dolls. And then this guy comes along and he steals the idea. I don't think there were any winners. The winner was money. Yeah. 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 It's called Billion Dollar Babies. 
Billion Dollar Babies comes out November 24th, which is Black Friday. Oh, that's timely. Sure. That, yeah. That's good PR right there. Good marketing. It's yep. narrated. Uh, did you recognize the guy's voice who was uh, yes, doing the narration? I did. Who was it? Neil Patrick Harris. That's right. Doogie Hauser. Mm -hmm. And Doogie Connie P. Chung's also part of it, too. Connie Chung. So check that out and uh, watch it on our Twitter page because it's, uh, it's pretty darn entertaining. entertaining. And my yeah. guess is it's going to do really, really well uh, once, once it hits the theaters. I mean, it's not going to win the week. It's, you know, it's Thanksgiving right, right. freaking weekend. It's not, you know, it, it's not going to beat. You know, a big time movie, but I bet you a lot of people check it out. Oh, oh yeah. If you were into the Cabbage Patch Kids, oh, yeah. I hope it goes to Netflix. Find out where it's going to be streaming, will you? Okay. All right. Just a couple of news quickies. You ready for a couple of news quickies? Mm -hmm. You in the mood? I'm not sure. We'll you go in the ahead, mood though. for a news yeah. quickie? All right. Here I come. Hunter Biden is suing the IRS for violating his privacy, and he's suing the last prostitute he hired for violating his privates. Hi -oh! oh. No. Man. Twitter users. Twitter may start charging their users. The idea comes to Elon Musk. Uh, the idea came to Elon Musk when he asked himself, hey, what can I possibly do to alienate and lose even more users? Yeah, I don't That's get, true. I don't, I don't get that at all. Rudy Giuliani's lawyers are suing him for unpaid legal fees. Did you hear about that? Giuliani is yet to comment to reporters that are camped outside of his coffin. Oh. Doesn't he? Doesn't he look more and more like a friggin' vampire when you see that dude on TV? So weird. Uh, Radio Shack. Finally, this is our last one, and then I'll you know be done. Radio Shack may mount a comeback. Did you hear? No, Radio, I used to love Radio. We Shack. We liked Radio Shack too. Oh, it used to be one of my favorite places. You always go there to get you know headphones and different connectors and cables and all that. Radio Shack may mount a comeback. It'll be in the same locations, but with a new name. Halloween Superstore. Oh, yeah. It is the season. It is. It's you know, Halloween. That's yep. it. Mm -hmm. All these empty, you know, strip malls uh, that are going to be filled up with the Halloween Superstore. Yep. It's going to be all the Halloween crap. Anyway, there's the news quickies. Hopefully you uh, enjoy those and you tell your friends. Today is Thursday, the 21st. It's Miniature Golf Day. Susie, last time you went putt-putting with the tot. Oh, never. Probably. What do you mean never? No, I've never putt putted with the tot. Are you kidding me? I putt putted in the nineties. I was pretty good if I do say so myself. But no, I've not no. putt putted with the tot. Okay, that was like a date night thing we used to do, Sharon and I. Right. And then in we the nineties. We had to stop doing that. Yeah, but you did you you guys do it when you were dating? Not with the tot, no. Mm -mm. Was he anti putt putt? Yeah. Well? Even though they call yeah. it miniature golf day, it's putt putt. It's not. Dude, I was awesome at putt putt back in the day. So why are you denying yourself of playing putt putt when just because your husband doesn't want to play putt putt? I don't know. That's a good question. It's a damn good Can question. Can you still putt putt in Toledo? Well, hell to the yeah. On Alexis? Yeah, there's one on Alexis. I, okay. I think the one at Bedford Hills, I don't think that one goes anymore. Oh. Uh, that one's going anymore, but there's got to be other putt putt play. There's that, what is it called? Par three, par something yeah, yeah. over um, by Cinco. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. Uh, you need to go putt putt. Yeah. Okay? yeah. Sharon and I had to stop doing putt putt when we dated because we're so competitive. It, it, whoever won would rub it in. The other one would get pissed off. Oh, it was ruining your oh, relationship. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. And then when mm -hmm. the kids and when all of us go, oh, it's bad. It's on. There's almost fights. Oh. It's crazy. I I went putt putting uh, earlier this year. Oh, Brandon. When we were in Florida. I went oh. to the Tiger Woods putt putt when I was down there being a humanitarian. Tiger Bro Woods has a putt putt place? Broadcasting down there in Fort Myers. Remember when I was down there sacrificing last winter to help For the good weeks. people of Florida because of the, the uh, you know, they had another hurricane. I think I got to go back down this winter. Okay. Okay. Sure. Wouldn't that be just the right thing to do? I think it would be. Yes. And broadcast and give you guys the play by play. Yeah, Tiger Woods has, uh, it, he's got a punch up. I forget what it's called. Man, but okay. it's sweet too, because it's more than a putt putt. You'd love this place. And it's an outdoor bar and TVs and restaurant. And then you walk out into the putt putt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh oh, here come the putt putt calls. All right, here come some putt putters. Morning, RQN. You're live on the air. Who dis? This is Beth. Hi, Beth. What's on your mind? I uh, just wanted to say that there's also a putt putt out going towards Bowling Green on 25. Oh, yeah. Isn't there a driving range over there, too? Yes. Yes. 
Thank you. I appreciate your help. Yeah. Okay. You well, I also wanted to put a shout out to my grandson. It's his 13th birthday today. Get out of here. How old is he? Oh, no, you just said that. What's his name? Antonio. Oh, what is it? Antonio. Antonio. Do you call him Tony or Anthony? We actually call him Tonio. Tonio. Oh, oh that's I fun. like it. Tony with flair. Yep. Awesome. All right. Uh, grab this. It'll be on the podcast so you can play it for him. And uh, Tony, I'll listen, listen to him all the time. Awesome. And play it for him. And uh, Tony, Denny Schaefer uh, here. You, I know you have no idea who I am because, you know, I'm 100. Uh, listen to your grandma. She is a wise, wise woman. All right. And if you don't, she's going to smack you on the back of the head. There you go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day. Bye bye. All right. There you go. Look at that. Another satisfied customer, Susan. I'm into that. Anyway, happy National Miniature Golf Day. And if today's your birthday, can I be the first one to say happy birthday? Nicole Richie. Whatever happened to her? Wow, oh, oh, she's a, yeah, yeah, Simple yeah. life. Is she doing yeah, it? Uh, she's recently married, I think. She's 42. Liam Gallagher is uh, 51. He's the 12 toed singer from Oasis. Check, see if we have Oasis, Susie. Okay. Uh, Alfonso Ribeiro, Carlton on Fresh Prince. I love him. And he's on uh, the video show thing. He's 52. That's all he is? Wow. I thought he was older now. Seems like he's lived. Too. Yeah. Uh, Luke Wilson, Owen's brother, 52. Ricky Lake. Does she still have a daytime talk show? She's no. 55. Faith Hill, her biggest hit, Tim McGraw. <laughs> She's 56. Rob Morrow from Northern Exposure. Remember that guy, that show? I love that show. 61. Uh, David James Elliott from JAG, kind of a stud. He's 63. David Coulier is 64. Uncle Joey, plus he's the guy Alanis Morissette is singing about in bitter pain, uh, you ought to know. Bill Murray, 73. Stephen King, 76. Don Felder of the Eagles uh, is 76. 40 days till Halloween. Don't move. Dope the day is next on our QN. All right, there you go, my people. That's the beginning of the show. Hopefully, we didn't suck. Strong start, strong start. I think it was. Oh, I got to watch for the news. I'm going to break my heart if it doesn't come in. Oops, did I say that out loud? I don't have time to take this caller. And the news is in. Well, they're going to have to hold or call back. Hey. Why'd you get you got kicked out of pot pot? Were you drinking? Oh, that might be a good story. Oh, oh boy. Liberty Mutual presents oh, How to Get Ahead. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're discussing the latest. Oh, man, your wife ran you out. Yeah. Your home insurance with Liberty it could be competitive. Well, All right. Have, have a good morning. Yeah, thanks. See you, bye. He got kicked out of putt putt well, and his wife who ratted him out? His wife, that was the, his wife ratted him out because he was cheating. Cheating on her? Cheating out with the ball. He was kicking the ball around with his Oh, he was cheating playing putt putt. Pot. So she. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll talk about that in there if I think of it. Good morning. I'm James Starr to the 13 Action. All right. What do I got to do? I got to duplicate and blah, 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 right? I don't think I did that yesterday. It is the. Do you remember that? Did I do that? Click on file, edit, duplicate, make stereo track. Uh, yeah, you were monkeying with it. Duplicate. You do the. You go on file, click edit, duplicate, make stereo track. I don't think I did that yesterday. I really don't believe I did. But anyway, uh, there's no duplicate or anything on edit. There it is. I did not do this yesterday. And then what is it? Move track to bottom, multi view, wave. Make stereo track. There it is. And then and then do it adds, right? And save it, right? Do your little process. All right. First one is uh, 017. Yep. Yes. All right. 30 seconds. 
30 seconds. I'm not going to be done in 30 seconds. Okay, well, we'll catch it next week. AM News 1, all one word. AM News 1. one. Today's date, 921. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could do the end. Yeah. Here's 13, Action News. And then K100 News. Oh, look at that. I, I surprised myself. That's awesome. Thank you. Person's in. <laughs> oh, crap. I, I don't have the uh, mic switch back on the dealio. Hold on. We'll Let me wait do that. Patiently. Yeah, you guys do that. I'm busy. Susie, do the weather for me. Will you? Ah, your weather from the Jim White Toyota Weather Center. Today, mixed the sun and clouds, 83. Uh, tomorrow, mostly sunny, 79. It is what? 58, 58. right now. 58. I kind of like when you do that. When you home. slow it down, you're just kind of sultry. I think the listeners might like that. Oh, give sultry. Us, give mm -hmm. us a little sultry Susie. People uh. might dig that. All right, let's do Dope of the Day, please. It's time for Denny Schaefer's Dope of the Day, brought to you by Smith Bonds and Shirty 419-865-7300 on 93.5 WRQN. Guy in Florida accused of stealing a large construction excavator and taking it for a little drive, knocking down power poles before plowing through the front yard of a Walmart store in Gainesville, Florida. Yes, 47-year-old Jesse Charles Smith hot-wired the excavator, stole it from a nearby storage area. He damaged other storage units, oh a Starbucks, and a Walmart. Police estimated the total damage at Walmart near $2 million. Police said Smith was also armed with a machete, not known why he stole it. However, Smith reportedly admitted to detectives that he was on drugs. Mm. So they arrested him on multiple charges. And why did he do it? Jesse Charles Smith, if you're listening and available, come on down to the station. We'll give you a certificate that says on this Thursday, the 21st of September, 2023, in the year of our Lord, Susie, tell me what he is. You are the dope of the day, brought to you by Smith, Bonds, and Charity on 93.5 WRQN. Okay, now I got to do the other news, right? Yep. My first one's in. Did you refresh? I'm going to in a minute, yes. I'm going to refresh. Good morning, I'm James Sutton. Okay, this one's 18. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now you're up to the minute. I'm James Starts with 13 Action News. Now I just got to do sports and then I can yeah, yeah, cool. relax. Don't do it if you want to get to it. Relax. to do it. All right. KKO News. Overwrite. Awesome. Bam. Yep. News is in. Susan, refresh away. Yes. Whatever it is you got to do. I'm getting nice responses from sending my sports to other morning shows. Oh, good. Nice. Yes. Keep Perfect. Going. Thank you. Because yeah, today was not an easy day for sports. Mm -mm.
$2,995 for our two year total weight ten weight diamond schedule for $2,995. See the uh, email from Jerry about remote breaks in 2024? They'll all be automated, so they won't need anybody in the studio, in the building. Oh, wow. No, yeah. I did not see that. What, uh, you can download the app. There's an app. All right, 15 seconds. Oh, look at all the textures. Mix of sun and clouds today with a high of 83, and then tomorrow mostly sunny near 80. Once again, we are sitting at 85 right now. Hold on, I gotta flip the mic thingy over for our Facebook Live. You by Castillo Funeral Home. Hey, you know what today is, right, Susie? It's Thursday, right? Yes. No text Thursday. Oh. That means the Den Man will not be responding to your texts. If you want to play along, you got to call the show like Lee did. Lee was telling us that uh, during the break, we didn't have time to take him live, that uh, he cheats at miniature golf or something like that. What, sure. Yep. What did he tell you, Susie? Uh, yeah, he's a cheater. He kicked the ball around with his foot. His wife uh, got disgruntled, ratted him out at the front desk, and he got kicked out. They booted him? <laughs> The miniature golf people, but listen, they take it very, very seriously. It might be a game to some people, but then other people, it's very serious. It's, it's, mm -hmm. To me, it's like, if you're going to go, you know, play miniature golf or putt-putt, uh, you, you know, yeah, part yeah. of being the fun is, you know, kicking somebody's butt. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's no cheating. There's no cheating. <laughs> like, what do you do when the ball's right up against the wall, right up against the thing? What do you do? Uh, aren't you allowed to move it out so many spaces? Yes, in my world, you How get many? to move it out one finger. No, you get Foot. to move it out one putter. Uh, putter. Oh, the okay. Yes. Okay. So yep, you yep, can, yep. Just so you can get your putter behind it, and you give it a little. Uh, okay. It, just so All you can right. get it going. There you go. Uh, uh, Laura in Point Place. She's got the next four days off due to inventory, and today's her birthday. All right, I'll give her that one. That's the only text. Laura and point. Well, when Dr. Bruce is in, we're going to do. Yeah, uh, we'll take text too. Text for Dr. Bruce. But other than that, but happy birthday to you, Laura and Point Place. That's awesome. Um, and she's got the day off. Wow. And then she goes, I looked in the mirror and I had a little freak out. Where did the heck did 59 years go? Hey, here's the thing. Don't so look in the mirror. Don't look closely into the mirror. I. That's one of my rules. You don't do it. Don't do it, do it, do it. All right, we're going to talk about the dumbest things you ever did when you were drunk. Susie's got some crazy stories, and hopefully you'll play along by calling in with yours, and we'll kick off the real show, Fleetwood Mac, next on our QN.